Hey guys, welcome back to another Monster Jam Firestorm video, and today I'm going to be talking about, again, one of the most historic Monster Jam events ever in history, Now today we're going to be talking about World Finals 9. Now, the reason why I say this event was so historic that it has to be on a historic Monster Trucks video is just because of what happened at the event and mainly of what has just, how popular and how, known, how well known this event is. When you talk about one of the best World Finals ever, one of the most popular ones that comes into mind is World Finals 9. So without any further ado, let's talk about it right now. So racing was one of the highlights of the whole show. Of course, racing is always the highlight of Monster Jam World Finals, seeing as it's a, a racing track that no one that's all that's only at Sam Boyd and it will never be replicated anywhere else. Amazing job at um, the racing part of the event was very nice, huge obstacles, and it was just incredible. Now, freestyle, where everything really just shined, um, as you guys can see, Pablo Huffaker inside of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles truck um, crashed uh, quite a bit in freestyle. Same thing with a couple other trucks. Um, the, the whole entire track was just amazing. We had that big water fountain, as you guys can see right there. Um, these big cars that are just jammed to this dirt mound. Huge buses, as you can see here, Scarlet Bandit, clipping at the edge of a three-bus stack, I believe it was. And it was just phenomenal to see all of that. It was incredible. Um, Scarlet Bandit had one of the night best runs of that night, I believe. And it was just incredible to see all these athletes and drivers um, put on a show for the fans in one of the biggest tracks ever. Now... Taz, Mating Devil, Adam Anderson was, I believe, the winner of World Finals 9 uh, Freestyle, and he put on one heck of a show, cleared all three buses, and just totally demolished that Taz truck until the end of the freestyle run. Amazing job, and he came home with the world title. So overall, there's nothing really much to say. I just hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, sorry I didn't really go into detail, but I just kind of wanted to make this video nice and short. Seeing as I don't have much time to make one today, so uh, yeah guys, please like and subscribe to the channel, it'll really help me out a lot, and I'll see you all in the next Monster Jam Firestorm video, goodbye.